Hey guys and welcome back. In this week's video I'm going to cover my favorite stretches to achieve a needle. This skill has many names but I just like to call it a needle. And before we start I just want to tell you a little bit about my flexibility journey. So I started stretching at 21 and now I'm 23 and here you can see my progression. The reason I'm telling you that is just because I really want to encourage you to stretch regardless of age. Many people think that you have to be really young when you start stretching, which definitely makes it easier, but it doesn't mean that you can't achieve some super awesome skills when you start as a grown up. And before we start, I just want you to know that yes, I got some really cool results the last two years, but I also stretched for really many hours every week. Stretching and flexibility is more of a marathon than a sprint and requires a lot of time and consistency. Okay guys, I'm done with my lecture now. Let's get started. So before you try any of the stretches I'm going to show in this video, I want you to warm up. It is super important to warm up. I have already warmed up uh, before I'm going to show them to you. We're not going to be covering the warm up in this video. So if you need a little bit of inspiration for the, what you can do in a warm up, check out this video. I have also put the link to it in the description. Let's get started. <laughs> We are going to start with a super simple cobra exercise. I love this exercise just because it really, really works out the muscles in your back and warms them up as well. Our second exercise is also a strengthening exercise. We want to make sure that we're super warm in our back. You want to aim to rock as high up with your upper body and legs each time to it. For our next exercise, we're going to be needing either an elastic band or a strap. I'm just using a piece of fabric I found at home. I am then going to wrap the band around my foot. I'm going to start with a bent leg just because that's a little bit easier. I'm going to be bringing my hand all the way around. The reason I want to be doing this exercise is because we really need this kind of rotation in our shoulders to bring our foot up over our head and our needle. We want to be doing it on both arms. Here you can see me using the strap which is much harder but also feels much more like doing the actual skill. And I'm doing it on both arms. Our next exercise is a stretch for your shoulders and upper back. We're going to start by placing our hands in a triangle on the wall. We are then going to be arching our back and trying to push our chest against the wall. Throughout the whole exercise, I want to make sure that I'm rotating my armpits inwards, just like you can see me do now. The closer your feet are to the wall and the further down your hands are, the harder the exercise becomes. Our next exercise is the bridge. You need to be able to do a bridge to be able to do a needle, just because a bridge requires a bit less back flexibility than a needle. We're going to start by warming up our wrists. I'm then going to come up into my bridge whichever way you like. Once we're there, we're going to be rocking back and forth and really pushing our chest as far forward as we can so we get a deep stretch through our shoulders. You can also do this exercise by the wall. Here we want to be focusing on pushing our chest and armpits against the wall while we extend our legs. For our next exercise, we're going to be needing a block and an elastic band or a strap. If you don't have a block, you can be using a tightly folded towel. We're then going to place our knee on the block and foot on the wall. We are then going to be stepping forward with our foot and lunging down. We want to push our hips as close to the ground as we can. We are then going to grab our band or our strap. We want to make sure that we don't have more than shoulder width between our hands here. We're going to be reaching our arms as far back as we can and trying to use the muscles in our shoulders and our back to pull our hands as close to our foot as we can. The second part of this exercise, we're going to let go of our strap. We're then going to lean back and walk our hands as far down the wall as we can. We're then going to extend through our arms, remembering that we want to be bringing our hips as close to the ground as we can. If you can't quite reach the wall, we're going to be using an elastic band or a strap. An elastic band is usually easier. We're then going to sink our hips down, lift our arms up over our head. We're then going to be looking back as far as we can and extending our arms towards the wall. The closer our hands are to our foot, the harder this is. For our next exercise, we're going to be needing a band or a strap again. Same rule here, elastic band is a bit easier. We're going to start by wrapping it around our foot. I'm then going to lie down on my stomach. My back leg is bent. I'm going to be lifting the leg with the band on, on top of my other leg. 
I then want to make sure that I'm holding the band in the opposite arm of the leg that the band is on. And I'm going to be extending through my arm and leg and lifting my hand and foot up towards the ceiling. Once this becomes easy to us, we want to be doing this without any elastic band. So I'm going to be grabbing hold of my foot. Using that shoulder rotation we practiced in the first exercise, bring my arm over to the other side of my head and lift up as high as I can towards the ceiling. And last but not least, we want to be working on our leg flexibility. We want to make sure that we have a split and preferably an over split to do our needle. And in the last part of this video, I'm going to show you how to practice getting into your needle. I'm going to be using my non-elastic strap for that and I'm going to stand really close to the wall so I can use it for balance. Once I have wrapped my strap around my foot, I'm going to use that shoulder rotation we practiced in our first exercise. I'm then going to bring my arms up over my head. I'm then going to be extending through my arms and leg, thinking about bringing my hands and foot up as high as I can. Once we can do it with a strap, we want to try to do it without. I'm going to be grabbing my foot from the inside. I then bring it up, put my other hand on, and I'm going to be using both of my arms to lift my foot up and over my head. This is our starting position. From here, we're going to be extending through our arms and straightening our leg, thinking about lifting our foot as high up as we can. I also recommend wearing socks just because it makes it much easier to grip your foot. So this is all I had for us today. Thank you so much for joining. If this helps you in any kind of way, please, please, please consider subscribing just because that really means a lot to me and also supports my mission here. Otherwise, if you have any questions or you just want to chat, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I would love to talk. And see you guys next week for some middle splits.